stumbling or building blocks. Ito po ang ating gospel from Mark chapter 9, 38 to 43, 45 and 47 to 48. Ang ating gospel is uh, from the 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year B. Ang ating pong kalagayan ngayon, marami na rin mga kabataan na malawak yung pag-iisip. Yung, though there are many people who are racist or sometimes very fundamental, pero sila, they are very open to possibilities of reaching out. Marami nga ang mga group na na-encounter ko where we were working for the for social action. Tumutulong dito sa Pilipinas. No? Uh, they go beyond borders. Asa sa group, nangyari yung Arquitectos Sin Fronteras, Medicos Sin Fronteras, yung uh, Parmasyoticos Sin Fronteras, meron ding Writers Beyond Borders. Sana magkaroon ng kura, kuras ng mga pare kura without uh, borders and we can serve uh, different communities openly and we can reach out to others siguro yung mga missionaries no, Bishop? kaya lang ngayon sa, sa, sa gospel natin baligtad naman si John was very protective about, about their ministry nagsusumbong pa nga kay Jesus eh. sabi niya, sabi ni John teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name we tried to prevent him because he's not following us as if John is telling us Somebody's intruding into our territory. Sa atin lang to. We should limit him. We should block him. And I think uh, that is contrary to what Jesus is teaching us. Because John creates a stumbling block. And from that possibility of not allowing others to work with us. Eh, paano kaya kung naging John attitude lang tayo? Eh, di noon pa, hindi nakarating sa Pilipinas siguro yung Christianity. Tayo-tayo lang, atin-atin. However, Jesus debunks John's limiting attitude when he replied, Do not prevent him. Do not prevent them. If there is someone who performs mighty deeds in my name and at the same time cannot speak of ill of me, for whoever is not against us is with us. Ah, kaya nga po ito yung magiging kwentuhan natin. Pag uh, tayo mismo, we become... A stumbling block to to our own ourselves or our attitude towards others that uh, some uh, uh, stumbling block that divides us uh, from re- working with others and uh omission very obvious to uh, nakikita mo sa ating pag uh, yun di ba yung tinatawag ng katoliko sarado <laughs> parang we are we are on our own they are on their own kanya kanya and then uh, i think that's already a thing of the past di ba pero maraming ganyan pa rin pag-iisip, even in our local churches. And then ikalawa, yung mental block. Hindi naman yung mental block kasi wala kang naalala. Yung our mentality, our mindset, our attitude, our biases can dispose us to hinder from reaching out to the other. The attitude that discriminates and separates those who do not belong with us. Hindi natin kasama yan. And it starts with the mind. And then lastly, most importantly, the Jesus perspective. The stumbling block is not important. Mahalaga, we become building blocks. When we say building blocks, we create a connection and we build bridges that brings us together meaningfully in cooperation as a church and even with different people. Itong magiging kwentuhan ho natin. Pakinggan natin ating gospel from Mark chapter 9, 38 to 43, verse 45 and 47, 48. It will be proclaimed to us by our friend, Judge Jovai Mercado. Pagbasa mula sa Ibanghelyo ayon kay San Marcos Noong panahong iyon, sinabi kay Jesus, ni Juan Guro, nakakita po kami ng isang taong nagpapalayas ng mga demonyo sa pamamagitan ng pangalan mo at pinagbawalan namin sapagkat hindi natin siya kasamahan Ngunit sinabi ni Jesus Huwag ninyo siyang pagbawalan sapagkat walang taong matapos gumawa ng kababalaghan sa pangalan ko, ang agad magsasalita ng masama laban sa akin. 
sapagkat ang hindi laban sa atin ay panig sa atin. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, sino mang magbigay sa inyo ng isang basong tubig dahil sa kayo'y kay Kristo ay tiyak na gagantim palaan. Mabuti pa sa isang tao ang siya'y bitinan ng isang malaking gilingang bato sa liig at itapon sa dagat kaysa maging sanhi ng pagkakasala ng isa sa maliit na ito na nananalig sa akin. Mabuti pa ang mapunta ka sa langit ng putol ang isang kamay kaysa may dalawang kamay na mahulog ka sa impyerno sa apoy na hindi namamatay. Kung ang paamo ang nagiging sanhi ng iyong pagkakasala, putulin mo. Mabuti pa ang mapunta ka sa langit ng putol ang isang paa kaysa may dalawang paa na mahulog ka sa impyerno. At kung ang mata mo ang nagiging sanhi ng iyong pagkakasala, dukutin mo. Mabuti pa ang pumasok ka sa kaharian ng Diyos ng bulag ang isang mata kaysa may dalawang mata na mahulog ka sa impyerno. Dooy hindi mamamatay ang mga uod na kumakain sa kanila at hindi mamamatay ang apoy. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon. Welcome to our episode at Men of Light, 26 Sunday of Ordinary Time, Mark chapter 9, 38, 43, 45, 47, and 49. Thank you to Judge Jobay Mercado for proclaiming the gospel for us. Ito po si Father Deo Galang. I'm very happy to be with you in a reflection for this Sunday. At ito po si Bishop Ambo David ng Diocese of Caloacan. Kamusta po kayo? Yeah. At ito po si Brother Joey Angeles from Angeles City. Kamusta po kayo? Once a month po kami nag-meet uh, face-to-face for our taping dito sa studio namin. And we are very grateful to uh, a family who sponsored, a uh, group of companies who sponsored our new setup ng mga, mga camera at saka uh, switcher. Uh, it's a very bet- better, uh, parang mas uh, maliwanag uh, <laughs> at saka acceptable sa mga TV, uh, pra, mga cable companies na... <laughs> Kung minsan, mababa dati yung ano namin, resolutions. I hope it's all better this time. At yung mga tumawang kay Father Jonathan na mag-purchase dito. And we are very happy and uh, very grateful for this. Ang ating pong episode is about stumbling block or building blocks. Ang unang part dito, uh, John is uh, preventing other, another person who was not with us. Siguro hindi kasama sa labing dalawa. He was not uh, chosen. But he was... Doing the same things. He was preaching and driving out them, but using the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. He was with them in spirit. No? Pero John said, hindi natin kasama yan. He's not followed. We should block him. We should limit him. Yung parabang territorial, di ba? Yeah. Sabi nila, we are very territorial. Eh. Kahit naman daw yung, ano, yung, yung very natural sa atin. Kunyari, yung mga aso, they, they, parang, uy, yung mga aso, they are protecting our house. Actually, they're territorial sila naturally. Eh. Mm-hmm. Ganon din yung lions, mga lions. Huwag kang pumasok doon sa lugar, kakainin ka din. <laughs> Even yung mga ibon, pag nasa isang halaman sila, pag nandiyan sila natutulog, hindi pwedeng makitira yung ibang ibon dyan, papaalisin nila. And that's territorial. In fact, parang sa ministry si John, he's also trying to be territorial. He's not with us. We should block him. We should limit him. Hanggang ngayon, kumisan. Totoo pa ito kayo, no? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, alam mo, Father Deo, ito nga yung uh, isa sa mga gusto talagang uh, puntiriyahin ni Pope Francis uh, through the Synod on Synodality. Eh. Yung 
the spirit of inclusiveness, yeah. lalo na katoliko tayo. No? Oh. And people forget that Catholicity is Names. about universality, yeah. Yeah. it's about openness, no? that uh, our God intends the salvation not mm -hmm. only of our fellow Christians or Catholic, but of the whole world. Yeah. Recently, di ba, parang nagkosta naman ng Parang some people are confused when about Pope, what Pope Francis now <laughs> said about other religions, yung ganun ba? As if we had a monopoly of goodness. Parang yeah, ganun, yeah, ba? Right. Parang, so ito yung expanding uh, the space of our tent, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. uh, ito yung the spirit of uh, inclusivity, you yeah, know. Yeah. Ma, mga anak din sila ng Diyos, you yeah. know. Okay. And uh, it was uh, John the 23rd who was very insistent about this yeah, especially, yeah. you know, so, through the reform of the church in Second yeah. Vatican Council. Speaking of stumbling blocks, uh, Father Deo, uh, we can become stumbling blocks to both others and ourselves. Ourselves, yeah. Uh, like, for instance, like uh, ourselves muna. Uh, when we have these toxic habits, for instance, uh, ex excessive social media, mm -hmm. right? indulging in, in distractions like social media, or maybe unhealthy eating, Hmm. We become a uh, we become a stumbling block to our personal growth, our health, hmm. yeah. and maybe also like uh, and this one parents are also uh, guilty. quite guilty of this one when we become overprotective of our children. Mm -hmm. In one episode, Bishop, you yeah. mentioned about uh, that they, were al they allowed us to play outside, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the ground without any slippers. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ngayon, yeah. they're very overprotective. Oh. Konting galaw lang, alcohol. Di ba? Yeah. 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 But yeah. now, yeah. sakitin na sila. Eh, di ba? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Pag, pag, uh, Kunyari, yung uh, over-insulated or over-protected yung mga, mga bata, yeah. totoo, no? Parang, uh, I am glad that we were not like that nung, nung bata kami. <laughs> we explored our environment. Yeah, yeah. Yung tipong uuwi ka na nagpuputik ka na talaga. ka sa ilog. Yung ano, yung amoy araw, amoy araw. Meron ka pang amoy araw. Bishop, uh, I'm so surprised, di ba? May edad na si Pope Francis. Yeah. Naka-wheelchair na siya, actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe he must be going through a lot of pain <laughs> to travel, no? Yeah. Pero I was touched, I was touched uh, when I saw a big, big stadiums of, uh, of Catholics and even non-Catholics yes. in, from Indonesia. Indonesia, yes. Uh, alam natin, Indonesia is predominantly Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. But when he visited, parang he's just, uh, he's not a stumbling block, actually. Parang, how can you create a stumbling block from that reaching experience, enriching experience, enriching out experience with Pope Francis, no? Oo, oh, tapos ang ganda pa nung eksena, nung Muslim leader na humalik sa ulo niya. Hindi siya dito. Hindi siya naman, hinalikan niya yung kamay, gano'n, no? Pung, yeah. yeah. Did, did you know that uh, napaka-special ng Indonesia for the Holy Father, ha? Huh? Yeah. Uh, kasi... Dito yung maganda ang relationship ng mga Muslims with the Christians. Yeah, yeah. Ito yung, nabanggit ko na yata na it, ito lang yata yung katedral na may underground tunnel that leads to the mosque. Yes. Talaga? Yes. Tapos, kapag, uh, let's say, nagkaroon ng uh, mga liturgical services doon sa katedral, misa, ganyan, at kulang yung parking, pwede sila mag-park doon sa mosque. <laughs> Tapos, pag may services naman doon sa mosque, pwede silang mag-park sa cathedral. Yeah, very, Tapos, yeah. and then after their uh, celebrations, tumatawid sila to say hello to each other. Ang ganda, oh, no? So, that's a direct example of how Jesus experienced that. That our Pope in his travels, he brings about a lot of expression of not stumbling blocks, no? Kaya nasa first part pa tayo. Na yung mga attitude na in, 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 iba yan sa atin, no? Pero yung how I experience it, even from afar, ng mga pinadala ng video, naiyak nga ako yung parang, mm -hmm. yung isa parang Muslim mother, dinala niyo yung anak niya, tapos Jesus, uh, Jesus yes. Pope Francis just reached out to the baby. Tapos oh, nag, nag, nagpaparak pa siya, siya. Parang, oh, oh, <laughs> nag-iyak yung mother sa, sa ano, tabi ng ano, kasi yung anak niya. Yeah. And I think that will that is life-changing, if I may say. Diba? Yes, yes. Just like what uh, John did. Uh, he drew the line between yeah. them and us. Diba? Yes, yeah. uh, but when Jesus found out about it, sabi, no, no. He erased these, the, these right. lines yes. and created a bigger circle. Kasama yeah. sila. Yeah. Yes. Kasama natin sila. Yes. Inclusivity. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and there were many occasions na 
Po, ayun yung ano niya, look, yung kanyang reaching out to the Samaritans, no? Yeah. Yung Syro-Phoenician woman, yung Roman centurion, yes. you yeah. know? Eh, sila, usually, they, they, they would draw the line. Ito lang yung mga kasosyalan yeah. natin. Yeah, parang yeah, yeah. gano'n. Parang minsan, uh, it's very sad to, to express na parang may narinig ako, we are too small to be divided. Yeah. Minsan sa parokya, no? yung mga kabataan, sila-sila lang naman, kalatin, yeah. malit lang parokya, no? compared yeah. to the bigger world. In fact, in their small world, they could not reach out. Yes. Parang ang konti-konti na lang natin nagsisimba, konti-konti na lang natin katoliko. Even within our, within our own, tabing, we come stumbling blocks among ourselves. Mm, uh, ano? Yung parang among us, even in, inside the church, inside the parish, inside yes. the diocese. Yes. Among us, there's, there are also stumbling blocks. That's true. Yeah. And in fact, we have we share the same parish, we share the same yes, diocese, yes. or vicariate, or presbyterium. Yeah. And then we don't see that line that connects us. That's true. At, at saka, di ba, parang um, kuminsan, uh, akala natin yung the challenges to the church are always from outside. Di ba? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the, the, the situation, society, yeah. societal yeah. development. Sometimes the stumbling blocks are right in us. Yeah. <laughs> Among in fact, sakto, sakto yung yeah. sa susunod nating yeah. topic eh. Yung susunod ho namin topic sa uh, part 2, yung mental blocks. Hindi na po yeah. na mental block na wala kang maalala. From, from our own minds, our own biases and attitudes, that is where everything begins yes. sa kalooban natin. Magbabalik po ang end of light after a few moments. Welcome to our second part of our discussion dito sa Men of Light. Stumbling or Building Blocks uh, from Mark chapter 9 and 39 to 48. Kasama pa rin natin si Bishop Ambo habang kasama ho natin siya kasi pupunta po ng Rome for a, for a month. Na? A month, yes. October, so, uh, almost the whole of October. They are attending... Uh, the Synod, the Synodality, second session. Second session. Yes. Yeah, so we, we pray for them. Uh, apat po silang representatives ng Pilipinas. Yes. And uh, of course... Uh, we will miss you. <laughs> and then si Brother Joey, kasama ko natin, ako po si Father Deo Galang, and our, our team, led by uh, Father Jonathan. Ang second part po, yung mental block, yung parang, yung sometimes, it's already in, within our attitude, no? parang hindi mo pa man siya nakita, parang may, may bias ka na, yung prejudice, no? yung, yes. you're antagonistic already. Yeah. Yung parang hindi ka pa man dumating, meron ka ng paunang paghusga, sabi nga ni Bishop. Yeah, yeah. And that be be begins with our mind mm -hmm. and with our hearts. Hindi man sabi nga natin, it's not really, it's, a, it's not about Russia and uh, or Ukraine or China against Taiwan or Philippines. It's also within ourselves. Eh. Nag-start yan. And then that even creates in our small world, no? Yeah. Sa pamilya, misan, sa mga magkakakapatid, yeah. magkakaklase, kakasama sa simbahan. Tayo tayo lang. And yeah. then there's some kind of, it begins, it begins within, within us. Yes, okay. yes. Kuminsan, we're not even aware of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kung akala natin, we're looking at reality and we're seeing reality objectively. But we don't realize that even as we look at reality, ni-interpret natin siya. Yeah, yeah. Ito yung mga, ang tawa, unquestioned presuppositions. Hindi yes, ba? Yeah. Yes. Dala-dala natin ito. Mm -hmm. Kuminsan, ang lakas nung, you know, the aspect of culture, upbringing, yeah. ethnicity, mm -hmm. religion, yung mga yeah, ganyan. Yeah, yeah. Minsan, they are like filters. Yeah, tapos nga, yung oh, colored, oh. colored spectacles. Oh, parang colored yung spectacles. Parang dahil yung, yeah. ano mo, may kulay. Kaya nakikita ka sa kulay nito. Oh, ak akala mo, pula ang daigdig. Hindi, pula yung eyeglasses mo. <laughs> parang gano'n ba? Very na, po. Yeah, yeah, until you become conscious na meron kang filters, you know, and these are the mental blocks that yes. you're talking about. Yeah. It's an attitude, uh, yeah. as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's something that starts in your head. Yeah. Uh, and one of them is that, that need to be right all the time. Mm. The parang as if you know uh, what you know, uh, you know more than the others. Yeah. And yeah. you know what's best. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's why ipaglalaban mo yun, yung yeah, kung yeah. ano man na naisip mo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that need to be right, you can see that in social media. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They don't even know the whole story. They already start to comment and, yeah. and, and, that's and right. uh, judge. Yes, diba? that's yeah. right. Yeah. You know, uh, recently I was saying that to some, uh, you know, a person na, na parang 
alam mo kung minsan sa mga group chats, you know, yeah. mayroon silang mga messages, ganyan. At kung minsan, they are forwarded videos or mga yeah. ganyan, no? Mm. Now, in one particular instance, may isang group chat, nagkaroon ng misunderstanding, you mm. know? Because they were reacting to each other's messages doon sa group chat. Tapos, na, nag-communicate akong sabi ko, you know, baka makatulong na when you have comments and you want to address them to particular individuals, hmm? wag mo nang i-post sa group chat. You pri send a private message directly to, directly yeah. to that person. Talk Kasi, to the person. you know, yan ang problema sa social media culture ngayon. Yes. Eh, that it destroys yeah. good relationships also. Yeah, no? right. yeah. yung Bishop, yung even our biases, kung isang may, may nakita kong video, mga bata, babies, hmm. May ibang kulay. May Chinese, may American, may black, may brown. <laughs> Naglalaro sila. Mga babies. Wala pa silang ways of well, identifying themselves. Yeah, that's true. And then later on, maybe when we study, when we socialize with others, we become to identify others. Parang napaka-akmang-akma yung gospel natin last na Sunday. Totoo. To unlearn what to you unlearn, already yeah. learned. Yes. yes. Then dinagdagan ko pa ng konti, Bishop, to relearn. Yes. <laughs> relearn. So, to, to, to create a, yung parang anti-thesis na to yeah. sa new thesis to, to discover something that brings us together in kung, spite of our difference. Kung misa, we cannot even admit eh. Yeah. Yung katulad nung nangyari last week, di ba? They just kept quiet. Yeah. Jesus was asking them, what's the matter? Mm -hmm. Parang ganun ba? Parang you keep it to yourself. Parang because dala-dala mo yun and you presuppose that's the right way yeah. to do things. Ganun, yeah. no? Until your attention is called about it. And katulad ng sinasabi natin kanina about the eyeglasses, you want to see the world as it is, baka kailangan mo nang alisin mo yung, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yung, yung colored glass mo yeah. because... Uh, But what are the unquestioned presuppositions, mga haka-haka, kuro-kuro, yeah. mm. that you've always taken yeah. as a matter of fact no, since bata ka pa. Oh, or, na para maintindihan mo yung sinasabi ng iba, kailangan be aware of them at isang tabi yeah. muna. Yeah. At magtanong diba? ka. Alimbawa, ako, hindi, wala, ako colorblind ako. <laughs> Nangyari, hindi naman ako color yung nakikita ko. Pero ang tatang... Tama ba ito, itong kulay na ito? Yeah, yeah. Kasi you have to ask, kasi you have to not only recognize your blindness, mm. your, the color that you see, even your sense of blindness. That's right, yeah. Yung hindi mo nakikita. That can also be a stumbling block, di ba, Brother mm. Joey? Yes, and one another thing, uh, Father Deo and Bishop, mm. yung need to be in control, need for power yeah. Yeah. to be in control. <laughs> yeah. Parents are guilty of that. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. um, they want to control their children in every which way yeah. according to, yeah. to what 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 they know is right yeah. or maybe even in the yeah. corporate world uh, leaders because you know by virtue of their positions yeah alam na nila lahat eh. i mean gusto nila uh, they they have the tendency to micromanage yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, which stifles the creativity of of yeah. others yeah you know what i find interesting dito sa yung title na binigay mo dito sa second part, yung mental block. Kasi yung understanding natin na, na mental block ako eh. <laughs> yung, ganun, yung tipong biglang block out ka, oh, hindi mo oh, maintindihan yeah. what's yeah. going on. But you don't realize, no, no, no. There is something blocking your view. Yes. Parang ganun. Yeah, blocking your mind. So, uh, if, if only you are aware of what is blocking your mind, uh, you can do something. Yung nga, yeah. unlearning and relearning. Di ba? Yeah, that's ganun, true. No? Yeah. Na, na, pa, ano yung attitude natin ngayon, in spite of the fact that we, ako nabibigla ako, in spite of the, our modern technology, mm. our awareness in the modern world, pero ang dami pa rin isims eh. Ang dami pa rin mga fundamentalist na yeah. up to the point, sometimes to the extreme, yung, halimbawa sa ibang lugar, if you are Asian, you are not yeah. appreciated. Yeah. Or you are a man of color, you are not appreciated. Yes. You're not the same. Yeah. Parang, I hope, Parang sa mga next generation, they could go beyond that, no? Mm -hmm. That's true, yeah. 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 Natin. Yes, yes. Because it starts again with the, mind. with the mind. And Jesus addressed that. Parang hindi niya pinalagpas. That's right. From that last gospel, when they are talking about the greatest among themselves. Yes. And then this time naman, yung control na sinasabi mo, may, may pumupunta, may pumapasok sa teritoryo natin. Yeah. T control natin to, huwag natin papasokin, di ba? Yeah. Kasi they might even take, take advantage, ha? sila yung maging great, hindi tayo. Actually, malaking issue ito ngayon sa Amerika, di ba? Talaga. Ay, yung, about immigrants, about, uh, ah, di ba, yeah. yung attitudes ngayon, very uh, big, uh, ano to, big political uh, issue. Issue, issue, di ba? Yeah, and, 
it makes you sad that the people are forgetting that one of the most multicultural societies is yeah. the American society. Yeah. Who is the American? For example, di ba? Yeah. About the original Americans are the American Indians. Di yeah, ba? Yeah, 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 yeah. Parang, I, pa, yung white Americans, saan ba sila galing? Galing ng Europe, galing kung yeah, saan-saan. Yeah, Ganon, yeah. no? So, parang, um, you don't realize that this is very enriching. Yeah. And once you develop an attitude na, Oh, ang migrants na nakawan kanyan. Ay, yung migrants mm -hmm. eh uh, kuku uh, mawawalan tayo ng trabaho diyan, yung gano yeah. ba? And Pope Francis is addressing that bias especially against yes. migrants, no? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ang ganda ho ng kwentuhan natin. Pero pinakamalga yung ikatlo, yung beyond stumbling blocks, either mental or in, uh, about others, about ourselves. It's we become stum uh, building blocks, no? parang uh, on the contrary, we, we build a community, we build a society, we build up our own cooperation and unity. And that is where Jesus is leading us. Babalik po ang Man of Light. We are already the third part of our discussion from stumbling block to building blocks. <laughs> Nasa third part na po tayo ngayon. And uh, this is the most important part of our discussion that uh, Jesus uh, maybe uh, uh, nudged on uh, John and said, that's not the way we look at others. If they are not against us, they must be with us. And if they are with us, let us work with them. <laughs> let us not antagonize them. Let us not timid them. And uh, that building block already is also being uh, proclaimed to us by our present Pope, no? Pope Francis. Yes. Yung mga Pope, uh, kung saan title po nila, yung they are uh, the, uh, uh, they are the mag, mag, mag ano ito yung parang, uh, anong term na yun? <laughs> Pontifex. Pontifex. Pontifex Maximus. Maximus, Maximus yes. the, mm. the Supreme, Supreme bi Bridge Builder. builder, bridge yeah. builder. Yeah. Parang, Hindi naman po siya kontraktor, no? Pero <laughs> they create bridge from different uh, nations. Yung ginawa niya, That's right. punta po yeah. siya ng Indonesia, punta siya ng Guam, yes. punta po siya ng uh, uh, Singapore. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I'm surprised even at the time of pandemic, yeah. tapos masakit na masakit yung hip niya, nagpunta yes. sa isang imam sa Iraq, yes. of so, all places, no? Yes. And then, wow, sabi ko, that spoke is really... A pontifex, a pon Maximus Pontifex talaga, is creating building, building blocks. That's true. Not uh, stumbling blocks. Yeah, kasi nga, ang presupposition natin is we don't have a monopoly of goodness. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, so, kunyari, no, uh, we work in the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people are working in, in the public sector. Yeah. And uh, kuminsan, we get involved in certain apostolates na Pwede naman tayo makipag-partner. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Parang ganun, yeah. You can you know, find people who are already doing, you know, a similar yeah. kind yeah. of work even yeah. if they are not of your own kind. Mm -hmm. And then establish linkages and Connected. partnerships Connected. with non-government organizations, government agencies tulad ng ugnayang barangay at simbahan, yes. yung yes. ganun ba? Kasi ang parokya at ang barangay, yeah. one community lang yan. Right. Yung sinasabi po ni Bishop, yung panahon niya dito sa Angeles, meron silang ubas. Ubas, yeah. Ugnayan ng barangay at simbahan. Di ba po, we are always uh, reminded that separation of the church and the state. Yeah. Puto naman po yun, very technical. Pero what, what can we also consider, how can we work together? That's right. Maybe for kalikasan, yeah. kalinisan. Yes. Yung uh, maybe, yung mga, nung panahon ng pandemya, Mm. Uh, ang daming nagbibigay nung sa simbahan, mga bigas, hindi ko naman kaya lang. Community lahat. pantry, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I asked the barangay captain and the workers, kayo nang bahala magbigay, kami magre-repack. Mm. Yes. Parang that, that ugnayan, u ubas, ugnayan, ugnayan ng barangay. barangay at simbahan. And, and that's wonderful, and that's yes. creating bridges. Yes. Mm. Uh, among Deo and, and Bishop, you mentioned this in the first part yeah. about the, uh, Pope Francis's controversial remark yeah. <laughs> uh, while he was, when, what country was that? Indonesia? I, Indonesia, yeah. Uh, when he was, yeah. sabi niya, God is God for all. Yeah. And if God is God for all, 
then we are all sons and daughters of God. Yes. All religions are like languages, paths to reach God. Yes. Nako, it's, it became controversial. controversial the, the, yes. controver the conservatives uh, started to react to that. Oh. But he's just being the Pontifex Maximus that you yes, mentioned. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, parang uh, spaces of goodwill. Kasi, yun nga, isa pa yun, we don't have a monopoly of goodwill. Yeah, yeah. So, hindi natin uh, You know, uh, you will be surprised. Some, some people who are not of your own religion uh, are also doing a lot of good things. Yeah. You have to have the humility na yung what others are doing well or doing even better, mm -hmm. yung ganon, <laughs> and recognize them, yung ganon ba? Yeah. Yeah, that, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Meron ang biro nun si, ano, si Monsignor, si Father Ninoy Canlas. Uh -huh. Diba, nagko-complain yung ano daw, yung mga nagsisimbang katoliko, ano lang, 30% lang yata. Tapos, dami pa hindi mga katoliko. Pasalamat kayo, dami hindi katoliko kasi mamamatay tayo sa, sa, ka, sa kakamisa, sa kakamisa, at saka, sa kakakasal sa kakamisa. <laughs> hindi natin kaya yan. <laughs> hindi natin kaya yan. I mean, in a practical sense also. Let's work together. Parang yeah, gano'n yeah. lang. Hindi natin, parang, we cannot, we cannot, not other than, we cannot monopolize goodness. Hindi yeah. natin kaya lahat. Yes. We have to work together. Kasi sa totoo naman, marami din naman taong hindi naniniwala sa Diyos. Yes. Mm -hmm. Marami din naman taong talagang they are against religion. Eh tayo na sa naniniwala sa Diyos, sana naman tayo magkakasama-sama. <laughs> diba? And maybe different titles of our faith, but we just have to believe in what we, we stand for. Alam mo, Father Deo, itong, uh, I, I'm, I find it very interesting na ginamit mo itong term na building blocks, no? Uh, and contrast it with stumbling block. Kasi, ang original text na related sa stumbling block and building block ay eh, yung kay Peter. Yes. Remember? Scandal. After his confession of faith, sinabi ni Jesus, you are Peter and on this yes. rock I will build my church. church. Yeah. So, that's the building block. Yeah. It's the foundation. Yeah. And Tapos, then later, later on, nung sabihin niya, no. uh, you know, no, over my dead body, I will not allow you to yeah. proceed yeah. to Jerusalem because, uh, you know, Tapos sabi niya, get behind me, Satan, because you are a stumbling <laughs> block. <laughs> a stumbling block. <laughs> so, <laughs> ang minsan, the building block can turn into a stumbling block, but actually, we can, you know, turn it into the a same, building block. The same block. brick. Yes. Bishop, you, a while ago, you mentioned about the problem of migrants. Yes. Uh, uh, it, it's not just in the United States, no, but in the rin, everywhere. Uh, everywhere no? It's global, yeah. Yes. And, but there are people who, as mentioned by Father Day in the introduction, people who look beyond borders. Yeah. Yeah. There is a, 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 an organization called Refugees Welcome International pala. Wow. Yes. And uh, this is an umbrella organization located in Europe, South America, and Australia. It's, it was started in Germany, actually. Yeah. And their job is to, uh, it, their shared mission is to provide private accommodations to migrants, yes. to make them feel welcome, to find uh, homes for them. Work. Oo, and work to assimilate them into the society. Yeah. Ang ganda. Yeah, yeah. Ang ganda. And actually, it, ito nga yung parang sabi ni Pope Francis, even on a practical level, sabi niya, tingnan mo, negative na yung population rate natin. Sabi nila, and you really need people to uh, repopulate, to, to run our industries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Sorry, what, I, time so, na pala. Then, uh, magtapos lang ako, sabi po ng isang professor namin noon, actually, pastor po siya, yung professor namin sa protestantism, si Pastor Nathaniel Canlas, si Blas, his, his soul, sabi niya, sabi niya, huwag muna natin pag-isapan yung pagkakaiba natin, sabi niya, even he started this yeah. course, we will share and foster what we have in common. Yeah. I remember the words of Pope uh, Saint Pope John the Twenty Third when he was in the opening yeah. of Vatican II. Sabi niya, uh, we looked to what unites us and to find our common humanity. Yes. And maybe that is where we start and that's where Jesus is leading us to become uh, building blocks. Magbabalik po ang Men of Light. We will be reading our messages and our uh, uh, birthday greetings and the prayer of... Uh, Brother uh, Joey Angeles. We are at the last part of our Men of Light uh, stumbling or building blocks. We will be reading to you the 
face Facebook at saka yung uh, text and YouTube messages uh, by Bishop Ambo and then uh, yung pong uh, maybe summary ng ating uh, ng ating discussion and assignment and also mga birthday celebrants and then si uh, brother Joey will uh, lead us in our final prayer and Bishop Ambo will bless us. Okay. Bishop Ang Ambo. una po ay mga uh, maraming salamat dito sa mga uh, comments sa, sa Facebook at uh, thank you for uh, enriching or even uh, deepening our discussions even further. At uh, every now and then, ang mga comments sa, are really reflections on uh, the episodes, hindi lang sa uh, Men of Light, kundi pati sa mga Daylight. Mga, when, when Daylight sharings are posted, oh, uh, magaganda yung mga reactions din. And uh, among them, oh, itong isang daylight sharing ni Attorney Bong. Uh, so, uh, uh, maraming comments from Dora Lopez, Lita Taaka de Diogracias, Elizabeth Kuraming, etc. No so, thank you very much for further enriching our reflections. At, uh, well, ang comments sa YouTube no po, uh, dito sa episode on unlearning and learning, uh, ang isa ay galing kay Luke Mill 0305. In my humble opinion, God is really uh, very diverse and we just have to accept that we are all different, unique from each other. Ang mga daliri nga po natin na galing sa isang kamay, braso at katawan, uh, they are of different lengths and sizes and shapes. <laughs> the mysteries of our, uh, this is the mystery of God's love, sabi niya. I hope we all try to go deeper in our faith to have a more intimate relationship with our triune God. Si Teresita8877, uh, sabi niya, good evening po. Uh, alam niyo po, in Norway, grades of students are posted on bulletin board without names, on the ID number. Kaya ang makakaalam lang daw ay eh, yung, yung uh, mayroong number na yun, estudyante. At walang mga honor system ng valedictorian or any mm -hmm. ranking, ang sabi niya, dahil wala pong competition sa schools nila. Galing. Wow, Thank sabi you. ko, ba, bago, ngayon ko lang narinig yun, ano? At uh, mayroong bumabati kay Brother Peter Henson, but I am not sure if they're, uh, are, they're identifying the same person. Yeah. No? Yeah. Family okay. ni uh, brother, brother Peter, si wife niya, si Dr. Tess, dentista po siya. Tapos they only have one daughter, si one, Thea, Thea, college okay. student sa Tineo. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. So, it, it, yun lamang po. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, ating po mga birthday uh, celebrants for the week of September 29 to October 5, uh, Father uh, Ariel Imhoko and Father Regan uh, Barameda, October 3, happy birthday among. And then si Father Rainiel Soriano, October 4. Si Father Jay uh, Bascon, uh, October 5, Father, uh, happy birthday po, mga amongs. And then uh, our birthday celebrators, mga volunteers and friends and community of men of light, uh, October, uh, September 29, uh, si Ma'am uh, L.V. Uh, Balinas, po ay taga sa Pangbato, at the same time, uh, one of the deans sa AUF. Tinutulungan niya ako sa mga homily ko, siya yung nag edit <laughs> yeah, mga homily. Eh. And then, uh, October, uh, September 30, si Kuya Remy Pangan, good help po, at si Rosie Santos, tita ni Father Jonathan, and then at Elisa Valerio. Happy birthday po, September 30. And then October 1, si Ate Lou Samonte. And then October 2, birthday po ni Gurley Guzman and Cherry Candelaria. And then October 3, birthday po ni Imang Tess Guanson, 75 years old. Mami po ni Patrick Guanson. At si Bernie Samonte, kaklasi ko na po sa seminaryo. Happy birthday, Ate Tess and uh, Bernie. And then October 4, si... Mang Mila Garcia of Sapang Bato and also October 5 birthday naman po ni Carol Ronquillo and Galia Ramos. Our gospel today can be seen in different perspectives but uh, the gospel invites us that we ourselves may not become stumbling blocks <laughs> without knowing it sometimes unconsciously our attitudes and our mindset would uh, prevent us from reaching out to others and even others reaching out to us. Kaya nga yung para nagiging territorial tayo like John. Our mental blocks, yung mga mental uh, predisposition natin. Tinatag natin yung colored spectacles, no? Or our own, our own blindness 
would not see our common common capacity. Or even like a garden, it becomes beautiful when it is colorful. Hindi lang isang uring ng bulaklak. And that is our perspective today. That uh, we become uh, instead of building blocks, the same building with the same blocks, the same uh, uh, bricks, we can use them to build bridges, no? uh, building blocks. And that is how Jesus invites us. And uh, how I hope in our local community, in our church, in our parish, in our home, in our society, in our community, let us become building blocks where we can offer alternatives as to sabi, but tayo lang, but di natin isawing iba, di ba? Why don't we invite our other, our other groups so that we become hub, a connector like Pope Francis, Pontifex Maximus, a builder of bridges. And I think that will be a very wonderful way to glorify our God and Jesus himself. Ito po ang ating uh, reflection ng Men of Light and uh, Brother uh, Joey Angles will lead us in our prayer and Bishop Ambo will bless us. Let us place ourselves in a disposition of prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, you invite me into your radical love, calling me to step beyond the boundaries I create, to examine the stumbling blocks I place in my path and in the paths of others. Your word today is a call to healing, reminding me that while the journey towards wholeness is difficult, it is necessary. Lord, I confess that, like John, I sometimes block others from doing your work because they do not fit into my expectations. I build walls when you ask me to build bridges. Forgive me for the times I have judged or excluded others simply because they were not one of us. Open my heart to see beyond divisions and embrace your greater plan of love. For anyone who is with you is truly for you. You spoke of cutting off what causes us to stumble, not as a punishment, but a path to healing. Give me the courage to face the hard truths about myself, where I cling to pride selfishness or fear help me let go where my hands feet or eyes stray from your way grant me the grace to realign myself with your love help me to recognize when i block others not just with my actions but with my thoughts when my biases and judgments prevent me from seeing the goodness in them. Lord, I want to be a building block in your kingdom. Let my life, my actions, and my heart be instruments of unity, fostering cooperation for the common good. You call me to be part of something greater than myself to serve with humility, and to work for the salvation of all. Teach me to let go of my need to be right, my desire to control, and the fear that keeps me from loving fully. May I live as you did, welcoming all, celebrating our shared humanity, and working toward healing and peace in the world. Thank you for your love that never gives up on me, even when I stumble. I pray that I may always be your salt and light in this world, offering hope, healing, and wholeness to everyone I meet. In your mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God come down on you and remain with you forever, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Brother Joy. In fact, si Brother Joy may original idea ng stumbling block at saka building block. Oh, <laughs> we just developed you. the blocks <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah. And tapos midnight, no? <laughs> and uh, this is Father Deo Galang. Uh, nagpapasalamat for your time. Let us continue to build the our church and the blocks that we have instead of throwing them to other people let us use them to build God's church today we also pray for the trip of Bishop Ambo he'll be out for one month for the uh, important mission at uh, Vatican and uh, we pray for your team and uh, your representation Bishop Maraming salamat Father Deo at ito po si Bishop Ambo David ng Diocese of Caloocan hanggang sa muli at ito po si Brother Joey Angeles Shine the light of Jesus.